500 meters below the surface of the earth inside India's largest mechanized underground mine. No other company in India has ever ventured into a mine like this. In India, a lot of coal reserves exist up to 300 meters in depth, which are suitable for extracting by open pit method. In these mines, bulk production is possible with more safety and low gestation period. But these reserves are depleting fast and as the gap between demand and availability is increasing, the need for faster exploration and high production is also increasing. High capacity underground mines are the need of the hour. 90% of coal in our country is extracted in open cast mines. Only 10% of the production is done in underground mines. The reason? Extracting coal from an underground mine is an extremely difficult job. SCCL has more coal reserves at below 300 meters depth. The long wall technology is the only technology for achieving bulk production of coal from such conditions. The Adriala long wall project has attained high significance in the Indian mining scenario as this is the first of its kind high capacity long wall mine in the country. This mine has a rated capacity of 2.8 million tons per annum. Construction of such a high capacity automated mine is not an easy task. It requires meticulous identification of coal blocks suitable for high mechanization and state of the art technology. Unless a company can acquire highly skilled and motivated workforce and planning ahead for years, a feat like this is not achievable. Typically, carving out a long wall mine is a complex process and once developed, the structure of a long wall mine is a lot like a city. This project was to be a flagship project, not only just for SCCL, but for entire Indian mining scenario. Even though a project of this scale has never been built in India before, SCCL was confident that this was feasible and achievable and the project was approved in 2006. But how does one find a suitable location for such a mine? The first step was to ensure that the allocated area was suitable for introduction of high capacity long wall unit. A substantial amount of geotechnical drilling was commenced. A total of 95 boreholes have been drilled at about 25 boreholes per square kilometer of Adriala project. Geoengineering and geophysical logging were carried out and the data has been analyzed by Mount Sopris Instruments Limited of United States of America and Robertson Geologging of United Kingdom. In addition to that, a team of experts from the Commonwealth Scientific and Industrial Research Organization of Australia also reviewed the data and made recommendations. The Adriala project is designed to produce coal in the depth range of about 300 to 700 meters deep below the surface of the earth. To meet the ventilation requirements, Two main fans of 400 kilowatts with 15,000 cubic meters per minute of airflow made by Zitron Spain are installed. These fans suck out the air from the written air shaft and create a vacuum constantly which is filled by the fresh air entering into the mine from the entries, thus constantly providing fresh air to the workers. The temperatures at the face can reach up to 35 degrees Celsius or more, which might cause inconvenience to the people working at the face and also damage equipment. To mitigate this, an air chilling plant by Agreco of United Kingdom is installed and cool air is being supplied. This brought down the temperatures drastically and thereby efficiency of workmen and machinery increased considerably. The Adriala long wall project is having a unique feature. Unlike traditional shaft entries, the main entries to the mine are planned through the right side of an adjacent open cast mine. These are called punch entries and they are the main entries for the mine 
for man riding system trunk belts diesel vehicle roadways and haulage system etc initially the drivage of the roadways was made by road headers but SCCL started using bolter miners for later phases of mine development as these are proven to be more efficient Diesel driven free steer vehicles are deployed for material and equipment transport. Concrete roads have been laid out throughout the mine to facilitate the use of diesel vehicles. These concreted roadways provide the required grip to the rubber tire diesel vehicles. The long wall equipment weighing about 35 to 50 tons were transported at 1 in 4 gradient on these concrete roads successfully. Pre-tension cable bolting has been used to successfully support the roof for the first time without erecting any vertical supports. Despite the challenges, the bolting and the roadway systems that are placed at Adriara Long Wall project are as good as anywhere in the world. Compressed air plant and water purification plant with reverse osmosis technology have been installed to supply the long wall equipment with compressed air at required pressure and pure water for the first time in india a 11 kv power transmission system for an underground mine has been introduced at adriala project about 7.5 kilometers of overhead lines and 19 kilometers of cable are laid to meet the huge power requirements auto power correction unit is also installed to curtail energy wastage this substation bears a total connected load of about 30 megawatts to power the long wall equipment air chilling plant nitrogen plant and water purification plant etc but how is coal produced at this unique mine in india long wall mining uses a long wall conveyor system roof supports and a shearer A series of roof supports stand opposite the block or section to be mined holding up the roof and under the roof supports is the AFC and shearer Roof supports are vital not only for constant production and advancement of long wall unit but for the safety of the miners with a bearing force of up to 2 into 1150 tons each they can handle even severe roof and floor conditions The shearer is a long piece of equipment with two rotating shearers or cutter drums. It rides horizontally along the AFC and cuts the coal from the block or as it's called in the industry the face. It travels fast along the coal face cutting coal at a predefined depth producing about 10000 tons of coal per day. The role of the conveyor system is to catch the coal being mined and carry it away from the face. The beam stage loader cuts large chunks of coal into a manageable size and load it onto a conveyor belt where the coal travels through the mine to the surface for loading and processing. As the shearer cuts deeper into the block, the whole system advances forward.
and the roof behind the supports falls down. This is called goof. This contains rubble and some coal and there is a chance of spontaneous combustion. To avoid this, a nitrogen plant is installed and nitrogen is being flushed into the goof. In addition to this, carbon dioxide is also being flushed into the goof to prevent spontaneous combustion. Cavities on the coal face can stop shearer from cutting coal properly and may halt the production of coal. Foam filling technology is being used to fill cavities in the face and thus the downtime of the machine is being reduced. As mining continues, there will be a lot of water flowing into the mine. Drainage galleries are built for collection of water which is collected into sumps. The water is then pumped to the surface using pumps placed strategically in the mine. This water is then purified in the filter bed on the surface and is used for various purposes. This way, water is being recycled and utilized properly. If the long wall conveyor stops operating for any reason, coal production stops. The entire system is monitored from the surface at the control room. Supervisory Control and Data Acquisition System SCADA, is a group of monitoring sensors and systems which relay the data regarding shearer, AFC tensioning, pressures, water levels and oil levels, temperatures at various machines, etc. Precise information about the entire system can be displayed, monitored and recorded for future references. From the communication node at the face, one can relay information and take suggestions regarding operations from the control room. Also, pre-shift maintenance is done every day and periodical maintenance of the long wall is done at regular intervals. This approach keeps the downtime of the long wall to very short durations. Long wall mining is a complex, highly technical and automated mining process. At Adriala, the long wall conveyor systems are working for maximum productivity at any given time. In fact, Adriala long wall project is the largest mechanized underground coal mining project in India with the potential to produce up to 2.8 million tons per annum. Long wall mining is the underground in the Bogur, Velkiti is a Padatalo of Padatati. Long wall mining is a Chala Lava Luna. It is a Chedka Utpadatato Purpuna Padatati. Rakshana Guda, Mita Padatun Polis, the Chala Puga Mutunde. Manamo open cast Dora. Mudwan <laughs> Company law, Chala Mines law, Longwall Pathathan Prayers, but Nadipist of the Regendi. Avande Kuda no Taku Capastuna Longwall Mines Survey. Ite Adriala Project Anadi and Tamundu Longwalls Kana Pinanga on the Idi High Capacity Automated Longwall Face, Sonstranik Shumaru, Rondo Pianta, the million ton law, Pathathis with the Samajona equipment today. E Longwall equipment Anadi Manamo. Shumaru, Mudwandal Ninchi, Aru on the meter la depthulo, production theatre on Koso, the new place in the Bana Idi. Other within the panel dimensions, Kuda Pata panel Kana, Ranmo Retlu Pedavi, Utpat Rose Kushumaru Padavela Tanulu, E. Padadwara was Sunde. E. Project Tanadi, Adriala Project Law, Ronduela Padnalulo, October Nello, Commission Jetan Dergandi. A commission chase in Tarwata complete the Oka panel complete Jesse, Mudu Pine Tai, the million ton loop with the chat in the Rigindi. You put Rondo panel low, E equipment Nadusta on the Punta initial Chinchina problems in Napuki Kudano, you put E project to Manchika Nadustunde, then Valla, Takum and the Karmical Thoti, Eku Pathi, Eku Rakshan Tone, Kitanaki, Vilgam Tunde. Desanlo is the Motomoto high capacity Langwalu, 
దీన్ని సక్సెస్ చూసిన తర్వాత పోల్ ఇండియాలో కూడా కొన్ని లాంగ్ వాల్ ప్రాజెక్ట్స్ అనేది రావడం జరిగింది అదేవిధంగా సింగరేణిలో కూడా ఇంకా రెండు మూడు లాంగ్ వాల్ ప్రాజెక్ట్స్ అనేది ప్లాన్ చేస్తూ ఉన్నారు ఫ్యూచర్లో మనకి ఓపెన్ కాస్ట్ అనేది డెప్త్ పెరిగిపోతుంది కాబట్టి ఓపెన్ కాస్ట్ ఫీజిబుల్ కాదు కాబట్టి అండర్గ్రౌండ్ మీదనే మనం ఆధారపడాల్సి ఉంటుంది అండర్గ్రౌండ్ నుంచి అధికంగా ప్రొడక్షన్ తీసుకురావాలి రక్షణతో కూడిన ప్రొడక్షన్ తీసుకురావాలంటే లాంగ్ వాల్ పద్ధతి ఒకటే ఆప్షన్ కాబట్టి సింగరేణి ఆల్రెడీ ఈ అడ్రియాల ప్రాజెక్ట్ ద్వారా లాంగ్ వాల్ అనేది సక్సెస్ చేయడం జరిగింది ముందులో ముందు కూడాను మనకి బొగ్గు ఉత్పత్తి సస్టైన్ చేయాలంటే లాంగ్ వాల్ ప్రొడక్షన్ ద్వారానే తీసుకురావాల్సిన అవసరం ఉన్నది సో ఈ అడ్రియాల ప్రాజెక్ట్ అనేది చాలా టెక్నాలజీస్ ఫస్ట్ టైం టెక్నాలజీస్ కంప్లీట్ చాలా ఛాలెంజెస్తో కూడుకున్న పని ఇది ఐదు వందల మీటర్ల డెప్త్లో మనకి స్టార్టా నుంచి కూడా ప్రెజర్స్ ఎక్కువ ఉంటాయి అదేవిధంగా వాటర్ సీపేజ్ కానీ అన్ని రకాల మైనింగ్ ఛాలెంజెస్ ఉంటాయి కాబట్టి ప్రతి ఒక్కళ్ళు కూడా పనిచేసే టీం అంతా కూడా ఒక డిసిప్లిన్తో కమిట్మెంట్తో పనిచేసినప్పుడే ఈ ప్రాజెక్ట్ని సక్సెస్ చేయడం అనేది జరుగుతూ ఉంది అదేవిధంగా అందరూ కలిసి టీం మొత్తం కలిసి ఫస్ట్ ప్యానల్ సక్సెస్ చేసి ఇప్పుడు రెండో ప్యానల్ అనేది నడిపించడం జరుగుతూ ఉంది about 3.5 lakh tons of combined capacity of the roof supports a network of intelligent control units collecting and sharing data thereby optimizing the entire long wall system to achieve maximum productivity automation systems also keep the miners away from hazardous areas and increase safety standards even further thus adapting to new technologies has helped SCCL evolve into an innovative, sophisticated and highly automated mining company providing natural resources to meet our country's energy demands. With advanced automation, safe working conditions and high production volumes, this mine is an engineering marvel.